Hello everyone, uh, this is Karan back with the uh, HRM tutorial. Uh, this time we have a topic which is uh, time management. I'm, I'm sure we all know that uh, how much uh, it makes sense for us to uh, manage our time well because if you do not uh, manage our time well, eventually it leads us to a lot of stress and as well along with that we feel uh, uh, exhausted at the end of the day. So let's learn a few arts and few skill set which will help us to manage our time well. So let's get started. What's the most important thing when we talk about the time management is that it's, it's not just about working hard, hard, hard. It's about working smart as well. By smart here, it does not mean you uh, you take a shortcut. But by smart, we mean we know which work is uh, having what priority. So if if somebody uh, if somebody or some work that falls in the high priority, we need to finish that work uh, at at uh, the most pro like the most quickest, and that should be the number one work number on a, on a priority list that we need to complete. With respect to something that might not be uh, aligned to our goals, it's something which we need to just uh, go ahead and, and, and take it off. And maybe we can keep it later in our bucket when, once we are done with the work that makes uh, uh, things uh, uh, essential for us as well as uh, the work that's needed at the most uh, for us to accomplish our goals. <laughs> Right, so, so as we as we all know that the time management is the process of organizing and planning, but how? But I would say that along with this, it's it's all about how we manage not just our time but also our work because it's it's the word says time management, but also I would say this is not just time management, but it's but it is also a, a work management, the activities we do. So we need to ensure we need to ensure that the the work that we have on our plate, we know. Uh, how we should categorize them in, in, in a priority list and accordingly work towards it. So let's, let's think about this guys, uh, good time management and a poor time management. What happens? What's the difference? Well, the most important thing that, that matters here is if, if we are good at time management, that is something eventually helps us to uh, organize our work so at the end of the day, we feel uh, one is we have accomplished our goals as well as we have a fee feeling uh, uh, of a job satisfaction there. So it makes us feel uh, rejuvenated and happy. With respect to uh, poor time management, it's, it's nothing but it's all about uh, creating stress for, for our own self. We just feel that, okay, we, we, are, we, we have invested so much of time, we're just sitting there, we are we're trying to complete our work, but eventually it's not getting completed. It's because we are not managing a time well and unnecessarily because of that we are creating a, a lot of stress for our own self and for our teams. So it's, it's very important that we know what we're doing and how we should go about it. Now let's have some uh, tips that can help our team uh, to manage our time effectively and, uh, and better. So most important thing here is to set smart goals. But SMART goal is, is all about uh, goals which are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant and timely. So now what happens on this one is, is we know, okay, there's a task there, what we need to do. So be specific what you want from a task and how, what, what goals we, we have for us, how should we achieve it. Then we should be able to measure the goal as well. So we should know where, where when we start the goal and when when we are in, in the middle of, of, of the of achieving our goals where are we so we should be able to measure it uh, as well then it should be uh, uh, attainable that means we should it should be an achievable goal it should not be something that is just there but we just cannot achieve it so it, it does it, it will take all the motivation away uh, it should be definitely relevant as well and timely is like we should be able to time it we should know when we can start it and when we can go ahead and, and finish the work um, next is, is as I was as I was discussing in the earlier uh, uh, slides as well. Uh, prioritizing our work is very important because we sh we know the deadlines, we knows uh, we know how uh, when we need to complete it. But we should also prioritize it well so that we are not facing the problem just at the end of the uh, of of the day or maybe when the deadline is very near or about to end. So that will create a lot of fuss and a lot of stress. 
So it's very important um, that we uh, prioritize our work very well and at the end we accomplish uh, the goals and we feel a sense of belonging and sense of happiness as well. Uh, set a good time limit to, to complete a task. Very important is that uh, if you just think that okay I can complete a task but if you do not do not know uh, the uh, how should we get to the outcome of it how should we uh, we time ourselves well in that and how what are the uh, few uh, uh, shorter goals that we need to accomplish uh, the the larger goals that we have then there will be a problem so set your time uh, set, set yourself a good time limit so that you can accomplish a task well within it as well as you accomplish everything what is required for it as well and as as as, as we have learned in this ppt is like very important that we uh, uh, we work on the most important things first because if we do not prioritize it well we, we might just accom accomplish our goals uh, with whatever we have on the plate but if we if we can time it well we know which task has the earliest deadline which task needs to be accomplished first then eventually what will happen is we'll be able to achieve, uh, achieve all our goals which is there on our plate finish everything there which is what is there with us along with that uh, it's like we'll meet the deadlines and we'll also be able to finish all our work so time it well and prioritize the work from the work that requires your attention the most to the work that requires your attention the least and with respect to timings as well for the same Remove non-essential tasks and activities. Um, I would say um, it's like if, whenever we make a, a list, a to-do to, uh, to list, what happened in there is that uh, we, we know which task is definitely essential for us to accomplish a goal. And there's some task which just takes a time. It's, it's like it, it's a lot of time investment there. But at the end of the day, the task is something that can be uh, postponed it for a day or two. So just make sure that we are able to bifurcate well in terms of essential task and the non-essential task and then accordingly work towards it. If we have time, once we finish the essential uh, task, then definitely we, have, we can use those tasks on the non-essential work and make it fruitful as well. And this is very important guys, whenever we're doing like different tasks, we, we, we feel exhausted because what we're doing is we're not rejuvenating ourselves. Very important, take a break. Just take a quick break, maybe uh, maybe grab a cup of coffee, tea, whatever you like, uh, or maybe a brief uh, nap there as well. It's something, or maybe just take a walk around. It helps you to de-stress and that's very important because when, once you're back from the break, uh, it will help you to concentrate back on your work and you can do wonders there as well rather than feeling exhausted. Well, right, I'm sure we all agree to this. If you have right people, then the task that's been handed over and assigned to them, it's easier for them to complete as a team as well as the team achieves its goal quicker and better and in time as well. So select the right people for the right kind of a job. Everybody has a different skill set. Everybody is uh, well skilled, but the task that is there, uh, maybe each individual in your team would not uh, be uh, equipped to do the same task. So somebody might be good in terms of writing. Somebody might be good in terms of uh, 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 maybe giving a good, uh, good uh, speech there. Somebody might be good in terms of the fun activities. So select the right people for the right job and I'm sure you will rock. <laughs> Uh, I would say multitasking uh, um, is something that we all think that can finish it, uh, all our jobs uh, quicker. I would say to an extent yes, to an extent no. That's because what happens is that when we do multitask, we try to uh, like achieve too many goals at one, one time. So we start together with everything. We put in a lot of efforts that for, for in everything, but at the end of the day, we are unable to complete everything on time. So prioritize it first so that you can start with the work that require your attention the most and then later eventually you can go ahead uh, with the second priority on your list and so on and so forth. This will ensure that you accomplish the task, you accomplish your goals and you don't feel exhausted and you are able to meet deadlines for all the, your tasks that you have on your hand. Well, uh, I'm sure it's, it, this is very difficult I would say because uh, if somebody comes to you and say, um, uh, I need, I need uh, some help from you, we, it's, it's not ideal honestly as a team to say no, but sometimes when you have too much on your plate, 
maybe it's advisable you seek for some time from the person so rather than just saying no maybe you can just ask for some time you can say that i have too much on my plate at this moment and uh, i won't be able to uh, like give you time at this moment but once i'm able to finish with my own work uh, i would definitely be more than happy to help you in that time what happens is you have said a no as well at the same point of time it's a team so uh, it's it's like they understand that okay there is something some priorities that you have on your projects as well because of which you are unable to give them time so your unity is, is still maintained with the team as well as uh, you have said no in a nice way so it's very important to say no because if you are unable to finish your task and you're doing somebody else's task by not being able to say no then it might be difficult for you at the end of the day because there is when you'll meet your own you'll miss i would say your own deadlines and it will be difficult for you so say no in a nice way and once you are able to finish your own task i would say then go back to your colleagues help them out and definitely they, they, it's teamwork which matters so i think everybody will appreciate that so i would say thank you guys once again uh, for uh, giving your time your uh, it's 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 really uh, been uh, been like very nice uh, making this ppts because of all your uh, feedbacks which i'm getting and and thanks a lot once again for giving your time here and, and watching our uh, presentations and videos so thanks a lot and require uh, and i would request you all to please uh, like share and subscribe so that i it motivates me to make more videos for you all all right so till the next time I, I i meet you within the next video thanks a lot and you have a great day ahead see you soon